talk a little bit about the purpose of wealth and all this. Right. Do a slight change of gears here because we don't do anything just remotely related to the collection. <laughs> and I don't think it wants to. Okay. Now, Office of Promotional Development is within the Office of Research, so we work with everybody on campus in all colleges and all departments. We have four staff members who solely work on providing proposal development support to faculty members. That's, that's all we do. We focus on the narrative portion of proposals. We, there are other people within the Office of Research who work with budgets, your IRB forms, and other aspects of any submission that you have. We primarily focus on your project description, your summary, whatever it's called for any particular agency. That's where we focus on helping you. We are available to work with all external projects. And that's kind of an important thing because we don't help with dissertations, we don't help with lane rewards or anything that's competitive for UNL only funding simply because we don't want to provide any one faculty member a competitive advantage over another and because we have finite resources. So we sort of have to draw a line at external awards is where we focus our main work. But we can help you at every stage of the process. If you have a letter of intent, if it's a pre-proposal, a full proposal, we help everyone at every stage. We offer a lot of expertise at larger programs and at repeat programs. So if it's something that comes out every year, chances are we know somebody who's submitted before and we've seen that application before. So we can take some of that experience that we have and help you and offer some advice there. This is a model of the grant life cycle. It's kind of hard to read. But it's mainly three stages, the project development, project submission, and project management. We focus on project development, where you have your idea development, your funding source identification, and proposal preparation. That's where our office comes in. We can help you take that idea, find your funding source, and help with the proposal preparation process. Once you get into proposal submission, that's where the office sponsor programs, so we'll take you from there and work on getting it submitted, and then once you're successful, getting all of your paperwork and things like that handled. Some of our specific services, we can help with brainstorming sessions with other faculty, staff, and administrators. If you're working with a small group and you want to, you have a bunch of different ideas, but they're all on the same line, you want to combine them for one project, we can help you with that, help you clarify an idea that you have for a specific project and a program that might have come out, we can help with that aspect of it. Sometimes a program will come out that is similar to your research but is in a different, slightly different direction. We can help you brainstorm there. And we can also help you work on making contacts with people in other departments with the SFP or the Bureau, some other people that you might need to touch base with to extend what you need to do. We can also help you find campus resources in other areas. Now this isn't necessarily as relevant here, but sometimes we need people in the hard sciences need to get in touch with education collaborators and that's some of the things that we'll do. We'll also help you prepare for meetings with funding agency representatives. It's extremely important to meet with people from your funding agencies and you cannot go into those meetings blind and so we can help you get the information you need, prepare some materials about your research that summarizes it makes it really marketable, a little marketing material handout that you can leave with them to show, summarize what you've done. And we provide a lot of those services. We also provide information on funding opportunities. We have a funding announcements listserv that we do every Monday. We monitor grants.gov and some other places for private foundation funding sources and we compile that every week and send it out on Monday or the first business day of the week. And we send it out to people in the campus community. And we try to refine that to research that we know people at UNL are doing. So we don't focus heavily on medical research or you know, things that we don't have here. So the community of science is a good source, but it can be extremely overwhelming 
because you'll have thousands and thousands and thousands of opportunities that just might not be at all relevant. So the funding announcements are a great place to start if you are looking for funding source and here's the information if you want to sign up. We can also, the three other people's development coordinators and myself, can conduct a targeted search. If you have an idea or just need some help finding a place where you fit, we can take a look at what you're doing and really do some research on it. And we, we do that probably every couple weeks for someone. And come up with some ideas of past programs we've seen or places where we think that can work. And we can help with the target funding search and help you find other people who might be working in similar areas or who might have some ideas too. Um, the main part of what we do is reviewing grant proposals. We meet with individual investigators or large groups and we will review your narrative for content, organization, and visual appeal. So we'll read it, make sure it reads well, it matches the funding source guidelines, and that it looks good. We also proofread for grammar, spelling, those sorts of things. We manage large scale projects, so if you're working with a major group for a multi million dollar project, we provide project management services for that. We'll help organize all of the different parts that are a big, huge headache with those. Get you know, the letters of support that you need and help with the different facets of that. We'll also help with the development of bio sketches, current and support forms. We don't do straight form preparation necessarily, but we will help with coordinating those, making sure if you have them that they all look the same and adhere to your requirements. And because once you get you know, four or five together from different people, sometimes they'll go off course and not look as good or as professional as you would like. But we can help you make sure that you have a cohesive look and that they're not pieced together, especially once you get people from another collaborating institution and oftentimes have extremely different looking forms. We have a graphic designer on staff who can help you with proposals and other research related materials. He's absolutely fantastic at a short deadline or a long deadline with providing you with clear graphics that fit into a document that show in a really small space what you need to show, black and white, and he's there for people to use for this purpose. And so if you just contact one of the proposal development coordinators, we can set something up, and it's a great resource. And we also coordinate expert review for grant proposals. We read for content, but we don't read for scientific content. As working for the entire university, we can't be scientific experts in everything that everybody does, or else we would be paid a lot more than we are. Um, but we can help you find somebody, with your help, who is an expert in your field. And we will coordinate them reviewing, sort of like they would do, a review panel would do. They can provide you comments and areas for improvement. And clearly you have to have your proposal done well in advance, but it can be invaluable to have an expert reviewer take a look at a draft of your proposal. And it could save you a round of funding reviews. And since those are six months, eight months, that extra month of getting it done can save you a year in turnaround. And our office coordinates that. And this is our typical proposal review process. I'm covering it for a single investigator grant because large, multiple investigators, it's different every time. But for a single investigator grant, which is the majority of what we do, it's this is typically the process. You want to contact a proposal development coordinator as early as possible in the process. I mean, when you decide you're going to go after something, even if you have nothing written yet, that's a great time. Or once you have your draft together, that's also time. But any time during the process. And we can talk about a schedule of when you want a review done. Do you think you'll have it done three weeks before and want somebody to take a look at it? Or you know, what works with our schedule? What works with your schedule? We can set something up. When you send us a draft, you'll send us a copy of the RFP, generally, program amount or whatever it would be called, and then a draft to put in Word. And then we'll go through and use track changes in Word to offer you comments, make some changes, to the actual document, but also we'll do the comment function and say, you know, what
what does this mean? Can you explain this, expand here? You know, that sort of thing. And then we'll send you back the track changes version by our deadline. But we normally take three or four days at most. We like to give our doesn't take us necessarily that long. We like to give ourselves a little bit in case something comes up. We have a couple of other things coming up for grant writing resources. There is a day-long workshop on March 14th at the YouTube Kids Club. It's not given by a member of the proposal development staff, but it's given by somebody who is an expert in NIH proposals. It's free, it's all day, and it's a really great place to learn how to really refine specifically how to set goals and specific aims or objectives. If you haven't been to it, I strongly suggest it because anybody at any stage of the process has benefited from it. And we also have a new ramp training series coming up, and that's probably seven or eight I'll parts of that. Susan has much more about it. We just do one little segment of it. It's sponsored programs, and it's much, much more with it. But Proposal Development has a segment in the new ramp, and it starts April 15th. And here's my contact information. We're located in Alexander West, which is easiest to say, it's across from my piece, on Q Street, but along with the rest, or most of the rest of the Office of Research. And we're here to help you. There's no charge for our services. We're paid for. So there's absolutely no reason to you can't use us. We want to help you. We accommodate everybody, no matter what. When you contact us in the process, we will make every effort to accommodate you. So, how are your staff members divided? Like, if we are working with NIH, are we supposed to ask for one person? No, we work generally okay. because it'd be, it would be hard for us to balance workloads if anybody had specific expertise. And one, we do have some expertise, you know, somebody who's better at training grants or has more experience. But we all work with NSF and NIH in particular. We all have general experience with those. So you can contact any of us. Any other questions?